In the annals of British financial history, one name stands out for all the wrong reasons, Kweku Adeboli. This name is synonymous with one of the most notorious scandals to ever rock the finance world. A former trader at UBS, Kweku Adeboli is remembered for causing the largest unauthorized trading loss in British history. However, this simplistic narrative often overshadows the intricate details and the human aspects of Adeboli's story. His journey was not marked by the reckless pursuit of personal gain as one might presume. Instead, it's a tale of a young man who quickly ascended the ranks of one of the world's most prestigious banks, entrusted with colossal responsibility during a time of profound financial crisis. Adeboli didn't start as a rogue trader. He began his career at UBS as a graduate trainee, demonstrating immense potential and dedication that led him to become a director. Amidst the tumultuous waves of the financial markets, he was entrusted with managing UBS's $50 billion trading book. In an attempt to navigate the stormy financial seas, Adeboli and his team devised an internal slush fund, dubbed the Umbrella. This was not a rogue operation, but an evolution of a previous accounting procedure at UBS. The umbrella was instrumental in helping UBS weather the financial crisis, serving as a safety net for daily losses. However, as the crisis abated, the expectations shifted. Adoboli's team was now tasked with driving profits for the equities business. The stakes were higher and the risks were greater. The pressure to meet these increased profit targets was immense and the long hours began to take a toll on Adeboli's personal life. Adeboli's story is one of rise and fall, ambition and the high price of risk. It is a tale that still reverberates through the finance world today. As we delve deeper into this narrative, you'll discover that Adeboli's story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unbridled ambition and the devastating consequences of unchecked risk. Adeboli's journey to infamy began innocently enough, as a graduate trainee at UBS, fresh out of university, he was eager, bright-eyed and ready to make his mark in the world of finance. He joined UBS, a prominent financial institution, and before long, his hard work and determination started to pay off. Adeboli was rapidly climbing the corporate ladder, and his potential did not go unnoticed. His swift rise from a graduate trainee to a director was nothing short of remarkable. His meteoric ascent was driven by his ability to navigate the turbulent waters of the financial markets with a level of finesse and acumen that belied his years. It wasn't long before he was entrusted with a colossal responsibility, managing UBS's $50 billion trading book during a time of financial crisis. A daunting task for even the most seasoned professional, but Adeboli took it in stride. In the midst of this chaos, Adeboli and his team devised a unique solution to weather the storm. They created an internal slush fund, a financial safety net they dubbed the Umbrella. The Umbrella was designed to cover daily losses, a buffer to shield the bank from the unpredictable swings of the financial markets. This was not a standard procedure, but these were not standard times. The Umbrella was an evolution of a previous accounting procedure at UBS adapted to meet the challenges of the crisis. The Umbrella was successful in its mission. It provided UBS with a lifeline during the most trying times, a beacon of hope in the midst of the storm. However, it was also a double-edged sword. The Umbrella gave UBS the ability to withstand the crisis, but it also set the stage for a far greater challenge. With each passing day, the Umbrella grew, and with it so did the risks. The Umbrella, though unconventional, was a lifeline for UBS during the crisis, but it was also a ticking time bomb. With the crisis averted, Adeboli and his team were given a new mandate, drive profits for the equities business. Their previous success with the internal slush fund, the umbrella, had not gone unnoticed. It had seen them through the financial storm, and now the expectations were high, higher than ever before. The directive was clear and the goal defined, but with it came a weight, a pressure that seeped into every decision, every trade, every moment. The equities business was a different beast entirely. The stakes were higher, the margins thinner. To drive profits in such an environment required a delicate balance of risk and reward. A balance that was often hard to maintain. Adobeli and his team, they were the chosen ones, trusted with the monumental task of turning the tide for the equities business. And so they began to take on more risk. They had to, the targets were ambitious, the deadlines stringent, the business demanded it and they delivered. But with each risky trade, with each daring move, the pressure built. And it wasn't just the professional pressure, the long hours, the constant stress, the never-ending chase for profits. It began to take a toll on Adeboli's personal life. 
The lines between work and life blurred as one consumed the other. The man who once managed a $50 billion trading book was now struggling to manage his own life. The tension was palpable. You could feel it. A constant undercurrent in every conversation, every meeting, every trade. The pressure was relentless, unforgiving. It was a race against time, against expectations, against the very nature of the financial markets. A race that Adobeli and his team were determined to win. But the thing about pressure is, it never eases. It only builds. And with each passing day, each risky trade, each unmet target, it built until it was all consuming a force that dictated every decision, every move. As the stakes grew higher, so did the risks, and Adobeli was about to cross a line from which there was no return. In the high stakes world of finance, the line between risk and recklessness can sometimes blur. When Kweku Adoboli and his team were tasked with driving profits for UBS's equities business, they found themselves walking this blurred line. To meet the increased profit targets, they had to take on more risk. The pressure was immense, the long hours were grueling, and in the end, it all proved to be a recipe for disaster. Adoboli's risky trading strategies eventually led to a loss of staggering proportions. The result was the largest unauthorized trading loss in British history. The once trusted director who had been given the responsibility of managing UBS's $50 billion trading book during financial turmoil had now become the face of one of the biggest financial downfalls. But the downfall was not just Adoboli's. UBS, one of the world's largest and most respected banks, also felt the impact. The financial loss was a blow, but the damage to the bank's reputation was potentially even more devastating. The trust that had been bestowed upon them by clients and the public alike was shattered. The aftermath of Adeboli's actions was swift and severe. He was arrested and became the subject of international headlines. The man who had once been a rising star in the world of finance was now a symbol of its darkest pitfalls. In the end, his story serves as a stark reminder of what can happen when the pressure to succeed overshadows the importance of ethical conduct. It's a lesson about the dangers of unchecked risk, a lesson about the fine line between ambition and recklessness. Adoboli's story serves as a stark reminder of the dangers of unchecked risk in the finance world. The tale of Kweku Adoboli is more than just a cautionary tale. It's a lesson in the consequences of unchecked ambition and risk. As we untangle the threads of Adaboli's story, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of some important life lessons. First, the importance of risk management cannot be overstated. Adaboli's story began at UBS as a graduate trainee, and he quickly climbed the ranks to become a director. At the heart of his role was the management of a $50 billion trading book, a responsibility that required an intimate understanding of risk and reward. However, when the demand for profits became too high, the balance tipped. Adoboli's team was compelled to take on more risk, a decision which ultimately led to the largest unauthorized trading loss in British history. Secondly, we're reminded of the critical role that integrity plays in the financial world. Adoboli and his team created an internal slush fund, dubbed the Umbrella, to cover daily losses. This practice evolved from a previous accounting procedure at UBS and was initially successful in helping the bank navigate a financial crisis. However, the umbrella's existence was a secret, a fact that cast a long shadow over its initial success. This secrecy is a stark reminder of the need for transparency and honesty in all business dealings. Finally, we must consider the personal cost. The pressure and long hours took a severe toll on Adoboli's personal life. This serves as a poignant reminder that success should never come at the cost of our well-being. After all, what use is triumph if it leaves us empty and alone? The lessons of Adoboli's story serve as a mirror, reflecting the potential pitfalls of unchecked ambition, lack of transparency and the relentless pursuit of success at all costs. As we delve into the stories of financial history, let us remember Adoboli's tale. It is a story of ambition, risk, and the price one pays when the line is crossed.